So smooth, it's like the smoothest soft serve you could ever, ever have. And thank you, Hoshinoya, for this welcome drink sake and mochi. I wanted to go for a walk. It's been raining all morning and since it's raining I just thought I'm gonna just chill here at our balcony and um, finish my breakfast so I just had sandwiches, finishing my milk, having my iced latte from 7-Eleven. A few moments later. Alright so I'm about to try that sake. We'll start with the mochi first. Thank you to one of the staff members here, Haruka-san, the face that's easily remembered. <laughs> she refers to herself in that um, note. Thank you so much for this. Mmm. I don't know what kind of mochi it is, but it's similar to um, tumarabi, like it's really stretchy. A little bit chewy, but like really soft and stretchy. It's got like some rice flour as well. Sake. Oh, so nice. Mochi is actually called Chimoto cake or Chimoto mochi. Good morning guys, it's the 12th of Feb 2020 and we're still here at Karuizawa and this morning we're just going to take it easy go shopping at an outlet close by uh, it's called Prince Karuizawa Shopping so everything from um, western brands from Diesel to Levi's luxury brands like Prada, Gucci and local brands like Nano Universe guys if you come to Japan you want to check out amazing um, local brand Nano Universe is one of the brands to be checking out for both men and women. So yeah, it's gonna do a bit of shopping this morning and then I guess I'm gonna eat soon. See you guys in a bit. This is our stop. So we ordered two of their um, chirashi dons. The first chirashi don that we ordered was the omakase don, which comes with various um, sashimi, like salmon, there's tuna in there, there's kingfish, there's some like shredded crab in there too, um, a bunch of other stuff. And that's for the missus. And then for me, I ended up ordering their kiwami don. Kwamidon has ikora, which is um, salmon roe. There's um, uni, which is sea urchin roe. We've got fatty tuna, which is otoro, which is my favorite. There's some kingfish, scallops, there's normal tuna, and there's salmon as well. And there's a big ass prawn in the middle. So, what we've got is some um, kaisen don. Kaisen don are um, bowls where you got your um, the, the rice below it, the sushi rice, it's already flavored with your usual sushi rice seasoning. 
and we've got slices of fish, fresh fish. And get into that kingfish now. Mm. Some of that ikura, oh my god. All that popping umami juicy goodness, man. From the ikura is so good. Of course, fatty tuna. Look at the marbling on that. Look how amazing that is. If you ask me what my favorite sushi cut is, it's gotta be otoro. Wow. Some uni. Mmm. Very good uni. I'm gonna finish the rest of my bowl. See you guys in a bit. I just know like this aging beef rare lunch set that I got, it's 3,000 yen. That's a steal for super marbly wagyu in a set. So I had rice earlier, then soup, then got all the sides, or the banchan, almost done with my beef. And it even comes with dessert, like panna cotta. Wobble, 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 wobble. Man, that's value for money. First cut, I think uh, this is like the most marbly cut. I think this is the um, tri tip. Mmm. Mmm. It's so buttery and tender. Tender cut. That's yeah, super tender. Wow. Or a rib, beef rib. Mm. Super fat and tender, guys. Mmm. Mm, so much umami, we love umami. So guys, when you're in Japan, um, you need to try Kremia soft cream or soft serve. So it's um, it's this here, right? You look look for um, shops with posters of this bad boy outside their shops. So it should be in a poster. All right, so it's part whipped cream and part Hokkaido milk. The cone is made out of um, 
lengua de gato or uh, lengua de chat in French. It's like the best, man. It's like super milky, so smooth. It's like the smoothest soft serve you could ever, ever, ever have. What's up guys? We finished shopping at the Prince, um, the Karuzawa Prince shopping outlet. I didn't buy a lot of things, just things I really wanted to get while I'm here in Japan. And I know Universe is one of the um, brands that you need to look for when you're in Japan. A black stand-up collar shirt, I think that's what you call it, stand-up collar shirt. I like how it's quite boxy. It's like really, really nice, high quality Japanese fabric. So apparently it's got a cool and dry, cool max core technology. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And something I really wanted to get when I'm in Japan is a sort of like Noragi style cardigan. This is from Nano, Uni this is from Nano Universe 2. It just feels so nice on your skin. I love the drapey look. Boom. All right. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I'm not one to always buy luxury stuff, but this bag was originally priced at 85,000 yen, and I calculated earlier it was like um, 1,150 Australian dollars down to 47,000 47, yen which is now 635 Australian dollars so that's like 40% savings ah, there you go it's a um, Gucci belt bag it's got a big ass compartment because I carry a lot of um, gadgets so yeah there you go the main compartment and that's like a mini compartment as well that's everything that I got from the Prince Karuizawa shopping outlet all right so now in the afternoons so they have free booths still available they've got free sparkling wine at the lounge area What's up guys? Alright, so tonight uh, we were planning to go to Wakadori in the Kyu Karuizawa area, but it was close. Plan B. And guys, when you go to Japan, you need to check out convenience or convenience stores, 7-Eleven, Lawson's, Family Mart. You all gotta try their food. It's insane. It's next level compared to what we've got back in Sydney. Um, so yeah, we just bought a bunch of things to try. We bought some hot food. Um, we got some chicken skin, soy seasoned chicken skin, and we also got skewered karage chicken. We also got some pork buns, so it's a Japanese Chinese pork bun. So we also got some egg sandal, egg sandal guys. This it looks so simple. It's just like um, you know boiled egg with a hell of a lot of mayo. Sounds simple, but you guys need to try it. It's insanely good and addictive. And this is quite something new, actually. They also now have a combo of egg sando and what looks like an ebi katsu sando. 
had this yesterday. It is insanely good, man. I think I've always loved the, um, the egg sando, but I think the ebi sando is now my favorite sandwich here in Japan. If you go to a konbini, you also need to get onigiri. Onigiri is a rice bowls that's filled with different things. And anything from tuna, chicken, spicy kodro. Um, so first up, we've got the shrimp and tuna with mayonnaise. You also have shrimp and mayonnaise. All right, so when you're eating these onigiris, they're all packed and there's like a, um, there's instructions here that tells you how to open. Because if you don't open them as per the instructions, the, the, the nori just like all falls apart and it just doesn't stay in that shape, the triangle shape. So make sure you follow the instructions here. All right, so I got the first part right. The first part was a, there's a pull tab that goes around. Then I think you pull the sides. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Throw the prawn and mayos in there. Ebby. Spicy Kodro for that umami burst. Mmm, wow. Kalpi soda. So, Kalpi soda is a popular soda here in Japan. Um, kind of tastes like melon. The pork bun. Wow. It's very smelling good. Ooh, it's like meatball style pork bun. Looks fatty and buttery. Look. Mm. That kind of reminds me of um, a shumai filling but with more fat with a punchier flavor of umami. Classic egg sando. Love how they cut off all the, the crust away from it. Mm. I love their egg sando, all that mayonnaise in it. Mm. And now to my new favorite, the ebi sandwich. Mmm, man. Pieces of ebi on that. Plumpy pieces of um, ebi is so good. Mmm. Mm. Now for the chicken skin or kawa. Mmm. Wow. It has little burnt crisps. Sorry, not burnt, but caramelized crisps. It's got so much umami in that. Hashtag we love umami. <laughs> so much flavor yes super delicious the karage skewer now mmm mind you we got this food like 20 30 minutes ago and the coating is still crisp it's still got some crisp parts and it's super juicy as well Price at 138 yen or nearly two dollars tastes like ten dollars. So good. No, it's not cow piss. Cow piss. Ah. Let's try this pizza potato. It's like cheese and pepperoni. Creme brulee. It's a four pack of 300 something yen. Just like, you know, $3 for dollars something and it's like, comes with a four pack. Yeah, not bad, huh? Mmm, that's good. All right guys, I'm gonna continue eating all of this. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. And that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace, much love. Your boy Raph is out.